five tiny homes being built for homeless veterans in Sioux Falls are nearing completion and the Veterans Community Project hosted its first open house today for the public to see them. Kellyland's Carter Schmidt was there and takes us inside. People were invited to see the progress of the first five tiny homes for veterans during an open house event Sunday. Veterans Community Project, which is headquartered in Kansas City, broke ground on this village in Sioux Falls last June. We are a 100% transitional housing village of 25 tiny homes. Um, it's an average about 10 to 14 months that a veteran will stay with us before they transition out. The homes are for veterans who are homeless or at risk of being homeless. That runs the gamut um, of, of why they've gotten to that point. Um, but they, we, we've got about a one to eight-ish case manager uh, per individual ratio. Um, and so they work specifically with their case manager to design their case plan with whatever their end goal is. The space has changed a lot since they broke ground. And this is all covered in trees. And so since June, so not even a year ago, we've progressed this far. Not possible without community members. Uh, the city of Sioux Falls has just been amazing. Steve Johnson saw there was an open house and decided to check it out. I have a friend who's a veteran, yeah, okay, so yeah. first thing I did was call him up and I said, hey, there's this project going on. I saw a veterans community project and they're putting together some homes for homeless vets and uh, thought, you know, be a neat opportunity to come out, see the growth that they're doing, and I'm absolutely just kind of blow away at the project that's going on here today. Johnson has a nonprofit and does photography. He says he'd like to offer that service to the vets that will live here. If I could provide a service to uh, take their photographs, something to hang on the wall for them, or the veterans might need headshots for jobs and stuff like that. And now they just need to put the finishing touches on these homes and do some groundwork with hopes to have veterans living in them by mid-June. That's going to build a community for them to uh, to uh, work together on whatever they might need to work on. So it's just overall just a great project. I've got a huge love for mission-driven work, um, but also to make an impact on one of our most vulnerable populations in our community and in our nation. In Sioux Falls, Carter Schmidt, Kelland News. The plan is to have the entire village of 25 houses, transitional houses for homeless veterans done by the end of 2024.